That'll follow the Hingis Lina match. Far ahead. Mary Pierce at Love 15. Lob there by Pierce. Kept her in that rally. That was a big point. Be down lob 30 at the moment. This is where Pierce would welcome some big first serves just to pick her game up a bit. Sometimes when your serve starts to click, then the rest of your game follows. Well, that's exactly what's going on here, Mary Jo, and she got three in a row. She's been searching for that big first serve to put immediate pressure on. Venezuela. Point from 4 3. prospectus or profile with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. Tim Ryan with Mary Jo Fernandez back here watching this match over on the Margaret Court Arena Court. Mary Pierce 4-3. On serve in the second set, she dropped the first to the 22-year-old from the Czech Republic, Yvette Benesova. Pierce has been icing her neck on the change of ends. We saw her do it last summer as well, and I think the older you get, the wiser you get, and even though she might not be feeling any exhaustion yet, she figures, let's keep it under control. Let's keep my body temperature down. Good preventive measure for sure. It's now 6 o'clock, a little after Australia time. It's going to be quite warm, at least for another half hour, maybe an hour, before the temperature starts to go down, and it's been a hot, sunny day here, the hottest of the tournament thus far up into the high 80s Fahrenheit. Great return there from Pierce. I mentioned earlier, Pierce takes her time between each and every point, particularly on serve. Benesova a little agitated that Pierce is taking a long time getting up from her chair. Pierce and Sharapova, the two most methodical players on tour. <laughs> Opening here. For world number five, Mary Pierce, to make her move. Three 
great points, great opportunity for Pierce to turn this match around. Dennis Silva, by watching her in the last couple of years as she started to play more on the main tour, Sony Erickson WTA Tours, so far in her career, she's a better front runner than she is from behind. Things have gone well for her, getting up a set. She broke to open this set. And we'll see how she deals with going behind if that's what occurs. And that's long from Pierce. Thank you. That shot on the forehand. Two break points go away. Served by Benisova and it's wasted with the error there. The break goes to Pierce, 5 3, Pierce serving for the set. What a gift on a break point. Pierce has been able to save three or four break points in the set. The serve definitely picked up, getting an almost three points. Fifteen. long. See a little bit darker at Hargrid Court as the clouds have come across the top of that arena court. Players will welcome. Yes, I would think so. The cooler conditions, that's for sure. You can see it's a little cloudier now than it has been and some relief for the many matches still out there. Oh, wild error there from Benisova. She's not happy with that play. 30 all. Two points from the second set for Mary Pierce. Sun peeks back through. There are still very high for Pierce. That point. Zone and Benisova knocks it into center field. Well, Benisova's been attacking that serve. She's really hitting it on the rise. A lot of players get pushed back with the kick serve Pierce possesses, but not Benisova.
That point again. Arizona Spears. Spears able to get Benesova stretched out behind the baseline. No mistake with that forehand. Very composed Pierce. There to left and hold off that, hold that stroke in long enough to keep the ball in court. So it's deuce again. That's long. That, well, correction made by Carlos Ramos in the chair. He's from Brazil. play the point. Ah! Overplays the short forehand. A break point for the Czech player. This is just one of those days where you just have to buckle down and find a way to fight through the unforced errors, the fact that she's not timing the ball well. Has to dig deep. No mistake that time. And Silva had a good service return. She's actually returned very well overall in the match. That has to be getting frustrated. She must be getting frustrated at the moment, but you can tell she's still being cool, calm, and collected. Mary's game is so much based on her timing. After two easy misses, to be able to hang in there in a rally, be consistent, not an easy task. Yeah. Longest point of the match, and she was so steady right through it. And that's sometimes what you have to do when you're not playing your best, when you're not feeling your shots. Get a lot of balls in. Try to find your rhythm that way. Aim more up the middle, not so close to the lines, until you start to feel your timing again. a good return from Denisova. What appeared to be an excellent serve. Sharp angle. Good job by the young Czech. Has another break point. But again, uh, an unforced error from Pierce. She makes that shot 8 out of 10 times. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
to Benisova on serve at 4-5 in the second. She has a one-set lead on the number five seed. When you're on the road, there's only one way to get Windows Mobile powered by broadband access. It's the network. Only Verizon Wireless has the new Trio 700W smartphone. The first Trio to run mobile versions of Microsoft applications, just like your PC. All on the nation's largest high-speed wireless broadband network. Now at a great price. Go get them. Hey. Verizon Wireless. It's the network. Think about your family as a company. The Clark family has reported earnings 30 With assets to protect and grow. A financial future to be managed. At John Hancock, we now offer you a wider range of innovative investment opportunities with access to some of the world's best companies. For the benefit of the most important one. The new John Hancock. Investments for the opportunities. Insurance for the unexpected. 1995, this is Mary Pierce then. Her first victory at the Australian Open, one of the two majors she's won in her career. And all these years later, she is a threat again, the number five seed in this tournament. Former champions in the draw include Martina Hingis, who will be coming up from the Vodafone Arena. And you'll be seeing that match up here, a three-time winner at the Australian Open. Thrilled to be back. Mary Pierce having to struggle here against Evita Benesova, who is serving at 4-5, having regained the break. She's on serve here in the second with a set in hand. Pierce had a couple set points in that last game. Couldn't capitalize. And now, Benesova trying to hold on and keep this on serve. Right to the baseline. Pierce thought it might have been long, but Benesova jumped all over the short return of the drive to the line. 30 love. nerves hold up in this situation. Oh. 40-15. Denisova holding her nerve here. Trying to even at five all. It's been a long time since I've seen Pierce so off her game. So inconsistent, really misfiring left and right. <laughs> Miss from Benesova. second set. Martina Hingis still to come on our bonus coverage on ESPN2, the Australian Open against a young Finnish player, Emma Lina. And then Leighton Hewitt against Chela of Argentina. That'll follow the Hingis-Lina match, so there's lots more drama ahead here at the Australian Open. Meanwhile, on the Vodafone court, former French Open champion Juan Carlos Ferrero is up 3-2, but a set of peace with Janko Tipsarovic from Serbia. Martina Hingis will come onto the Vonafold court after the conclusion of that men's match between Ferrero and Tipsarovic, and they're just in the third. Oh! 
Christine Love Mary Pierce. Wow, great job by Benesova. Chase that down and then get that angle back. Great feel from Benesova with the double-handed backhand off the court. Just rolls it for the winner. Second serve at 15 all. Good turn on that yeah, second she, serve. She's been all over it. Yeah. Time in, time out. Really steps inside the baseline, takes it early, and she hits it away from Pierce right away, making Pierce get on the defense. Racket. Two break points. Chance to serve for the match. Another second serve coming up. She's only winning 26% of her second serves in this set, Pierce. Benesova with the break. She'll be serving for the match against the number five seed, Mary Pierce, when we return to Melbourne at the Australian Open. You see a long business trip. At Franklin Templeton, we saw regional air travel rising and invested in a commuter jet manufacturer ready to take off. A smart move for our fund shareholders. Perspective like this has made Templeton a pioneer in global investing. Franklin Templeton Investments. Gain from our perspective. Ask your advisor for a prospectus with investment goals, risks, fees, expenses, and other information to read and consider carefully before investing. There are two kinds of people, two kinds of companies who change the world. Those who invent and those who deliver. SBC and AT&T have joined forces to create the most complete and secure network on Earth so you can make the most of your world. Introducing the new AT&T. Your world delivered. Well, a big upset in the making here. Iveta Benesova, unseated. Rank number 42 in the world for the chance to knock out the number five seed, one of the hottest players of last year on the Sony Ericsson WTA Tour, Mary Pierce, the 31-year-old veteran. French citizen, resident of Sarasota, born in Montreal, and now in deep trouble here. Six games to five, Benesova. And it's called long. 15 love. And Pierce had a chance to get back into this match. The turning point came at 5-3. She was serving for the second set. She had just broken. She had a couple set points. But she missed what the Pierce are a relatively easy shot. Over hits the forehand to set up a break point. And then look at this backhand. Right Mac in the net and it's almost like he's in a little bit of disbelief at why all these errors just keep coming off her racket 30 love now for Benesova remember she won her first round 6-1 6-1 looked sharp looked on top of her game yeah. and she's 
She didn't show evidence of these conditions bothering her, but should remind everybody, if you've just been joining us, a very hot day here. It's now near the end of the day, 6.30, in terms of an outside court play, so different angles from the sun, but still very hot, breezy, so there are difficult conditions, but nonetheless, same for both players, and Benisova hasn't seemed to have been troubled by them at all. Down the line, every point critical, obviously, for Pierce. Definitely getting cooler. But it has been breezy on the court, and perhaps that threw Mary Pierce off in the beginning of this match. But she's had time to find her rhythm. She just hasn't been able to. Just too good from Benisova. Another good angle. A match point for the underdog. 22 years old from the Czech Republic, ranked 42 in the world. A correction. Carlos Ramos in the chair. They'll replay the point, so it's still match wow. point. But it's over taking a few extra seconds. from Mary Pierce. Biggest upset of the women's tournament thus far. The number five seed going out. Mary Pierce at the hands of a 22-year-old from the Czech Republic. Ranked 42 in the world, Iveta Benisova. Biggest win in her career for sure. And Pierce just never got going. She had a bit of an opportunity to get back in the match. Didn't find her rhythm, her timing and a combination of unforced errors from Pierce and very well played match from Benisova who was really able to attack the Pierce serve and I think that made the difference. That certainly opens it up here for Martina Hingis who is, uh, you know, the dark horse to say the least in this tournament four years away. She will try to get by Emma Lina, a young Finn player in her second round to take on Iveta Benisova in the third round and what an interesting development in this australian open tournament on the women's side Iveta benisova great job by her today as you said the biggest win in her career against mary pierce she kept her composure the whole time played a solid match and she caught a ragged mary pierce on this day and finds herself in the third round of the aussie open Still to come, Martina Hingis.